I'm Jodie Williams. My name is Nigel James Kilworth. My name is Sunita Mean. Katie Keith. Oh, my name is Clemens Bills. I'm Jemima Mantle. My name's Laura Hickman. Well, my name is Jason Lucas. Uh, my name's Claire Olison. I'm Claire Dark. My name's Jagtar, and I'm project manager for Wolves in Wolves. I started working on the project in uh, September last year. Um, at that point, we didn't have any artists, we didn't have any sculptures, uh, we had an idea, um, and it all seemed very daunting really. And now to see how it's all come together, it's, it's, it's simply unbelievable. Drawing mindfully, so to draw just for the joy of drawing, not to worry about the end results, um, not to overly plan it, and just see where it goes. Um, and it was really enjoyable, and it's, it's taught me a lot that I've been able to bring to this. Um, so in a similar sort of way, it's quite an organic way of creating a painting, really. And we had a huge response. We had far more designs than we actually needed. And also all these designs that we can see here now, they first appeared as in my email inbox as, as, as you know, sketches. Um, and to see so many of them now, I've, I've, they look exactly the same as what the artist originally submitted and I've got those drawings and it's, it's just wonderful to see that, you know, all this artwork come to life. And I felt that I could play a massive part or a small part in a big team and I had the skills to produce something which would really stand out. I know these projects have gone on in Birmingham but I'm a fine artist who works with pure colour. The work in Birmingham is fantastic but I hope uh, the public, and especially young people and children, uh, mother's children, will like this piece of work. Well, I think uh, it's a very good idea. These sculptures are from a high quality material, and uh, also the, the artist has made uh, beautiful things, beautiful things. And it's been astonishing the level of um, skill that they've got. It's just been awe-inspiring to, to, to be here, to watch and draw and the level of detail and what they've created is just been outstanding. And the level of commitment they've shown as well, because most of them, you know, this is something they've done on top of their day job. So people have been here on weekends, working late at night, you know, sometimes 10, 11 o'clock at night. And again, you know, their commitment has been absolutely awe-inspiring. It's a new style of art that I've never done before. I've never done anything to do with sculpture, like in kind of like more of a 3D element. And none of you are like, portraiture and it's very different from my normal style of art so I'm quite enjoying the um, problem solving element of it so it's taken a lot of layers of paint to build up so it's uh, a different process that I would normally use but I, no no I'm really enjoying it. Also the dragonfly represents regeneration and because the city is being regenerated we thought it'd be really good to have the dragonfly image so not only is it a lucky food dog, but we're hoping that it's also all about regeneration for our city as well. I want my viewers to get almost lost in the colours that I use um, and creating obviously beauty with, with the colours and tones that I create in the work. If your wolf could speak, uh, what would it say? Give a lot of money for it in the auction. Okay, so the... So the big sculptures will be out on display from the 5th of July all across the city centre. They'll stay on display until the end of September, by the 24th of September. So there's plenty of time, plenty of opportunities for families to have a look at them. There'll be lots of events happening. The best way to keep in touch with what's happening is to look at the website, which is wolvesinwolves.co.uk. Well, you can buy it now if you want. Yeah, I haven't brought my wallet here. Okay. Maybe next time. Good.